you guys so it's finally the weekend and we're gonna go to wilson's prom because our lovely friend nicole who's from melbourne shout out if you're watching this i don't know if she would be but she said wilson's prom is one of her favorite spots and there's like a really nice hike there but it's like three hours away from melbourne i think it's like two hours and something but if you take the scenic route it will be three hours so we're gonna do that it's gonna feel so good to finally get out of the city it's been such a long week um, yeah. of tommy's training and, and for me just sitting in the same hostel room so it's gonna be nice to get out we'll see oh, if we yeah. pop by the market we were gonna do the market but we kind of want to get going as quick as possible so we'll see what we do we're kind of just packing up our things to move back into the van for a night because we're gonna camp there which is so fun like i've missed sleeping in susie actually mm. so yeah so we just did a big shot for tonight and tomorrow we got like breakfast lunch and dinner yeah and all of that lunch was tomorrow as well yeah and we only we spent like 86 dollars for those of you wondering how cheap it is to live in australia but we didn't like yeah we hold didn't back we, we got, got like, like chocolate, chocolate wine. wine snacks like cheese and olives so we've got snacks to last us for probably like two or three days and food to last us for two days and now we're gonna have some breakfast and then get back on the road We just stopped at this camp spot area and we're just having some breakfast, granola, blueberries, banana, and we've made some coffee. Most important thing. Yeah. <laughs> Weather's really nice though. It feels like it's spring or something, but it's probably just autumn weather mm. down south. Yeah, I guess it is autumn now. Just arrived here at the shallow inlet, which is where we're gonna camp tonight, I think. A little gravel road, not too bad. I think it's what twenty dollars per vehicle here. Yeah. So pretty good price. I mean actually, yeah, ten dollars per person. It's pretty good, so we're gonna go see if they take card payment. It's currently quarter to two, so we've got sort of the day to explore. There's some few like really lovely hikes in the area and some really nice beaches, which I'm so excited to see. Turns out it wasn't that one, it was one just a little bit down the road, which we have arrived at now. This is where you pay. Proper bush camp. He's leading us to our campsite. <laughs> this yeah, is so like, nice. Like jungle or something. This is our camp spot in here. This is our camp spot. How lovely is that? Just in the middle of the forest. There could be koalas here or anything. And we can set our little camp chairs up here. They've got drop toilets as well, which is great. It's just down there. <laughs> this is awesome. This is sick. This is the first walk we're gonna do. Wildlife walk. We're hoping to see some wallabies. Maybe we have to do it later because they are nocturnal animals. Oh, I mean wombats. <laughs> Tommy's just made us some lovely falafel wraps, our classic. Mm. And we've just checked the beach out and it was so beautiful. So many people here though. It must be like the Melbourne spot to come. Oh, 100%. Weekend away from Melbourne, like three hours. So stunning, like really clear water and it connects with like a lovely river. Um, the water was a lot warmer in the river, which is nice. And so we're gonna go down and check it out, maybe have a little swim. It's called Call Tidal it. River. Tidal River is the name. So yeah we're super impressed with this that like i can't believe we hadn't even heard of it before my friend recommended it to us like absolutely stunning really reminds us of the west coast mm. so we don't have to miss wa quite as much yeah as we do. yeah it's good the mountains are like hey, insane darling, can i tell you what's been on my mind sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open 
We're about to go down to this beach. We've packed the crackers and the snacks, so we're gonna take those with us. And I'm I'm testing out the gimbal for the first time in a long time, and it's a bit tricky. <laughs> Can I put this in your bag? Yeah. Hey, darling. I love it when it's me and you. On the road with a couple of tunes in a car for two. Hey, darling. You know we're gonna have a really good time. Driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright. We're having some cheese and crackers and wine on the beach. We found a little bay. I'll put the name on. So nice. Some big waves out there. They are pretty big. We're doing the wildlife walk again because we want to see some wombats. But there's lots of kangaroos here. Oh, oh god. God, there's another one here too. He's over there. Oh my God, it's so amazing. I can't believe how big they are. Oh, so cute. Sun's setting and we found another wombat. So cute. Oh. On the way back to Susie, we find a little family of roos. The next morning. Tommy's made coffee. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Had such a good sleep. Better than when I sleep in the hostel actually. I missed it in the van. Thank you. Mm. So we're here, we parked up at the Lily Pilly Gully Park car park, such a funny name. But we're about to do the Mount Bishop hike, which is like I think it's a one and a half hour return hike and you get to the top of Mount Bishop and it's like a panoramic view of Wilson's Prom so we're super excited to do that and we might even, if we're feeling up for it, take the Lily Pilly circuit walk back so we get to do a longer hike, like maybe that would be four or five hours. Actually, the Mount Bishop summit track is 3.71 way. Hmm. We're in the middle of the rainforest. So nice. It really feels like it too. Yeah. We're on the boardwalk and it's snack time. We're soon back at the car park. Well, this I don't is know. such a nice walk. It's like two and a half K. Two point one K. Yeah, so far this hike has been so stunning, honestly. I'm so sad we have to go back to the city tonight. Oh, you can see the tail. He's so long. Yeah. Oh, he's so cool. So we're back by Susie. We took the loop, so we took the nature track back. Yeah, we did like two tracks in one. Mm. Which is great. And it took us three hours and fifty minutes to be precise. So yeah, now we're feeling the beach. We're going to go to a beach called Streaky Bay and have some lunch. Hopefully, maybe a bit of surf. Hopefully, yeah, we'll see. Who knows? Yeah, it's 
now like four o'clock and we have to head back, which is so sad. Cause Tommy's got work tomorrow, but yeah, we, we were, so we went for a little swim on Squeaky Beach, which is absolutely stunning. And we could see it from our hike. Um, but that was probably one of the coolest beaches. Yeah, for sure. It was like the white, like really white sand. It seemed like it was like so white to be South Australia. It felt like the white that was in Esperance and Exmouth. Yeah, WA. Mm, so that was amazing. And yeah, there's so many little coves you can check out. Yesterday we were at the picnic cove. And then there's like the Whiskey Bay, which we skipped now because we have to head back. Which is really sad, but go. yeah, you could easily spend like oh. three, four days just exploring all the little hikes and maybe a week if you wanted to, but yeah, the mm. way to do it would be to have a whole week here, wouldn't it? Yeah, just camp in all the different spots. There's so many campsites here, mm. and so much wildlife. Like, we saw at least probably four, four wombats, but like, they're just like chilling out on the side of the road and wallabies and kangaroos everywhere, yeah, which everywhere. is pretty cool. Be careful if you're driving after dark or around sunset because that's when they're all around and early morning as well so the yeah. only thing that we didn't see was the emus yeah we didn't see the emus but we've seen loads of emus yeah we've seen plenty of them so what's the next thing on the australian wildlife list shark i guess octopus shark so i didn't properly film an outro to this vlog shock so i'm just sitting here finally getting around to editing it now i'm so sorry guys i've been so absent on youtube i've been focusing mainly on growing my tiktok and my instagram because that's where i've been seeing most results um but i do really miss like connecting with you on youtube and posting these longer form vlogs and content because i feel like we get to know each other on a different level here on youtube so i definitely don't want to stop and I do keep vlogging like I have so many vlogs left to post I just haven't got around to editing them maybe this is my sign that I should get myself an editor but I'm too much of a control freak like I want to I have to do it myself um so bear with me they are coming but thank you for watching this video go over and follow my Instagram and TikTok because I post more often on there um I'm gonna try and get really better at this but yeah I'm trying my hardest guys. If you want to stay up to date with my life, what I'm doing in the now, it's Instagram, TikTok, because I'm quite far behind on these vlogs, but I hope you enjoyed it and leave a comment on what type of videos you want to see on my channel. Yeah, I love you and I'll see you in the next one.